Okay. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. Happy whatever you celebrate. Oh my God. I've been getting too much into the Christmas spirit. I choked up. Look at that. Well, we are back with another exciting episode of What's Cooking with Sham. I'm wearing my Mrs. Santa Claus outfit. Look at this. Clearly not the sexiest outfit I've ever worn in my life. In fact, it's the ugliest. I see why Santa Claus is always trying to slide down my chimney and cheat on Mrs. Claus. I mean, if she dresses like this, no wonder. Anyway, let's get to cooking with Sham. So I'm going to make for you my favorite holiday recipe as I put the weapons away. You know what I mean? This is a no weapon zone here where we've already chopped everything and got it ready to go. But just to show you the ingredients involved, this is like my favorite holiday dish. Okay. This is my own family version. My family always makes this for every Thanksgiving, Christmas, all the time. Uh, it's our version of yams. So basically you need your yams. Mr. Cameraman Mark Stout, could you hand me the melted butter? We've got some butter melting. Okay, so this is my very favorite holiday dish. Everybody loves yams, right? And sweet potatoes. And I think it's essential to any holiday meal. So this is how we prepare this. First thing is you take your pan and you take a little bit of butter. You're going to need to grease the pan a little bit so it doesn't stick. Okay. So put the butter around uh, like that. Okay. Like you really want to grease it because you know, vegetables on their own will stick to that pan more than Taylor Swift's new song is stuck in my head. Which, by the way, you can watch my music video for the song. I don't want to talk about it while we're cooking, but you can see my parody video for Taylor Swift's Look What You Made Me Do. Just put my name, Sham, Ibrahim, and Taylor Swift, and you'll find it. Now, I also want to say thank you to everybody who has been watching What's Cooking with Sham? I'm so grateful for you guys for tuning in. Thanks for all your comments, your likes, your subscriptions, and everything like that. I appreciate you so much. So thank you for watching. And like I said, I love to cook. So let's get cooking. All right, so we've greased up our pan. It's nice and greasy like our 45th president of the United States. All right, so let's put in these... Uh, Yams, you're going to arrange them as such. See, it's kind of like, it's kind of like an artwork here, you see, that you're making. Okay, you want to kind of like vary. Like you take the orange ones and the white ones and you vary it around. You know, like a, like kind of like a, you know, mix it up. Okay, mix it up. See? So you see how I did that? See how there's like some white and then the orange, okay? And then you take your butter and you pour a little more on top. I do not recommend this dish if you have artery disease or like heart disease. I don't think that this is probably the dish for you because it requires a lot of butter. So um, I would save this. Like, watch one of my vegetarian recipes. Recipes. What's wrong with me today? I'm having a hard time talking. Okay, and then you put some chopped walnuts. Mmm, look at that. Okay, you kind of mix those in. Mix up these chopped walnuts. Okay. And then on top of that, you put brown sugar. And just put a lot of sugar because... Who doesn't like sugar? Put a lot, a ton of sugar. Mmm, I love sugar. Brown sugar is really good for you. <laughs> not really. <laughs> Actually, not at all. <laughs> it's sugar. But you know what? Just in moderation. Okay? Don't eat this every day. And then put another layer on top. Also, 
kind of color varying, you know what I mean? So you put like, you like vary the colors, you know? Okay. I am very excited for Christmas. I hope you guys are too. I love Christmas. I'm actually Jewish and Christian because I don't want to have any issues when I die and go to heaven. I want to make sure that my name is on like one of the lists. So I'm both. And um, I celebrate both like Hanukkah and Christmas. So you can give me a Hanukkah present or a Christmas present, either one. All right, here we go. We're going to add a little more butter on top. Mmm. Yum. Okay. And then you're going to put more sugar on top. And stupid me, I forgot that we were also supposed to put cinnamon. You were supposed to put cinnamon on the first layer. I didn't. So we'll put a little more on top but you are supposed to put that kind of on it too, so. Okay, there we go. All right, so we keep putting the sugar on there. Okay, so you just, yeah, the sugar will melt and be delicious. And a little more butter, cause like, I haven't had a heart attack yet, but Lord knows I'm trying. All right, and then put some more nuts walnuts that is walnuts galore on top there we go okay so the finished thing before you put it in the oven should look something like this okay and then we're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees okay our Delicious holiday yams are all done. You should have them in the oven for about an hour and a half. It's actually a very slow dish. It cooks slowly, okay? But ours is done thanks to editing. So you didn't have to sit there for an hour and a half while it cooked, because Lord knows we don't want to. All right, here come the holiday yams. A la sham. Mmm. Look at these holiday yams. Tell me that that is not delicious. Mmm. Mmm. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching What's Cooking with Sham. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Have a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holiday, a Happy Hanukkah, a Happy Kwanzaa, a Happy Everything. Mwah.